in this video we are going to see the insertion loss and attenuation loss measurement but mostly we will focus over the attenuation loss so if any device is inserted in any network then it gives some loss that that loss due to the insertion of the device in the network is known as the insertion loss so well, let us see uh, some of the main important terms that suppose we have provided the input uh, signal power pi and uh, the power reflected at the input terminal uh, due to the mismatching that is pr and p not is the output signal power which is reaching at the other terminal of the device which we are inserting so the remaining power which has uh, gone inside the device is nothing but the power which we have applied and the power which has been reflected from uh, that mismatching so that is pi minus pr will be the uh, remaining power which has gone inside the device so here the uh, insertion loss we are defining that output power divided by input power is equal to the uh, power which has gone inside the device divided by the input power multiplied by uh, the output power divided by the power which has been uh, uh, actually gone inside the network or gone inside the device so that is po by pi we can write and this we can write that is pi minus pr divided by PU, pi we have taken it and po we have taken it here and then pi minus pr so pi minus pr we are adjusting here so then we are taking log and uh, log of both the sets so 10 log uh, p naught by pi 10 log of uh, pi minus pi divided by pi plus 10 log of p naught divided by pi minus pr it becomes that solution and this is known as insertion loss and uh, this term is known as reflection loss because here the reflected power is there and input power is there so reflected power divided by input power that is 1 minus uh, reflected power divided by input power that is uh, ref reflection or loss and here is attenuation po um, divided by pi minus pr so this power 1 minus pr by pi is nothing but the insertion loss that is uh, reflection loss but pr by pi is known as re return loss so insertion loss is equal to tan log of p naught by pi a and attenuation loss is calculated as tan log of p naught by pi minus pr so main thing is p not and pi how much power is there and how much power we have uh, provided so for the perfect matching if the matching is there perfectly matched conditions are there then uh, the pr there should not be any reflection that time that uh, insertion loss should be equal to attenuation loss so under this condition that insertion loss will be equal to attenuation loss if pr reflected power is uh, perfectly matched it is not there the, so there are two methods which we are using for measurement of that uh, uh, attenuation that is one is power ratio method and another is rf substitution method in power ratio method what we are doing we are setting up our microwave test bench as we have already seen one practical uh, test bench uh, setup here we are having microwave source that is nothing but the reflex cluster and we have we had seen there that is one uh, uh, isolator was put but in the figure uh, isolator has not been put here and uh, here we have shown that is frequency meter and uh, uh, then whose the device we are putting whose attenuation is to be measured and we are putting that device uh, before the slotted line and slotted line structure is there and from that slotted line structure we are having one crystal detector in that uh, slotted line only that prob from where the we are taking output that prob is containing one crystal detector after that uh, here we have taken a power meter and before that power meter we have connected thermo thermistor mount thermistor mount is uh, used to measure the medium and high power so for that purpose we have put it here and if that uh, crystal detector is giving medium power or high power that time 
we are directly giving this uh, to the thermistor power uh, thermistor mount and that thermistor mount is giving the power to the power meter so what we are doing first uh, uh, we are uh, calculating the power without insertion without insertion that device we are putting that uh, microwave source we have put here frequency meter we have put here slot line we have put detect crystal detector is there a thermistor mount is there and the power meter is there and this is mesh determination and uh, th this is mesh determination here we have not given we have not inserted the device whose insertion loss or whose attenuation is to be measured so first by setting up this test bench for the maximum power we are adjusting this test bench by the uh, by uh, this uh, crystal detector uh, adjustment in the slotted line position and uh, so whatever the reading we are having that is p1 vc and uh, then uh, in between this frequency meter and slaughter line we are inserting the device whose uh, uh, attenuation is to be measured so we are placing it and then we are measuring the uh, output power so the power which we have measured here p1 and uh, here we have measured the p1 and this is measured power p1 and uh, in this setup the measured power p2 the ratio of p1 by p2 will be known as attenuation loss but uh, here as uh, this uh, crystal detector and thermistor mount both have been placed there and both are non linear devices so the uh, readings which we are going to have over the power meter they may be uh, not very much accurate so that's why we are not following this method we are now getting another method that that is rf substitution method in rf substitution method what we are doing now here we have uh, we are having uh, the two uh, setup that is uh, one is we have placed that is uh, microwave source then uh, frequency meter and the device whose uh, attenuation is to be measured that slaughter line crystal detector and power meter and here mesh termination the same thing same setup is there only what we have done in this that uh, uh, thermistor mount we have uh, taken out and then uh, then we are uh, we are uh, seeing that how much power is available over this meter as we have seen in the previous case and second one uh, what we are doing we are uh, without disturbing this uh, network we are uh, without uh, disturbing the reading with, without disturbing any adjustment we will open these uh, two terminals and we will insert the attenuator here and we will see that uh, by adjusting the uh, attenuator that uh, the power which we were receiving here uh, do we receive the same power when we have adjusted it S after adjustment of this attenuation whatever the reading we get from this attenuator that reading will itself be the attenuation loss of this uh, device so this is the power uh, that is power attenuation or we can say attenuation loss we can measure likewise and uh, so read it i am sending the um, copy of these two uh, of this uh, two methods of uh, attenuation loss thank you